Hi, my name is Lucas. I'm a filmmaker and I've been editing for over seven years now and I've used many of the different softwares that are out there uh, from iMovie, Sony Vegas, Resolve and obviously Premiere and Final Cut. Ultimately, I choose Final Cut. Overall, it tends to do a pretty good job with all the things that I need to do and speed, which for me is a massive thing. It saves me time, meaning saves me money. Uh, choose Final Cut most times. There is certain moments that I would choose Premiere, but I'll tell you about that at the end. So I gathered 23 reasons why I personally think Final Cut is better. Bear in mind, this is my opinion and my opinion alone. I have used both softwares professionally for a very long time. I just choose Final Cut at the end of the day. So I'll make this video with 23 reasons why I personally think that Final Cut is a better software first of all one pay fee you buy fanica and you own it the end second it's a faster software moving through the timeline is a lot smoother magnetic timeline faster export an export setting to vimeo or youtube that actually works an auto save that you don't even have to think about it also an auto render a very simple proxy workflow it can be adapted to a beginner or to a very advanced editor fanica is a responsive software that is constantly trying to help you easier 4k workflow is a stable software that doesn't crash on you drag and drop simpler audio fixer and audio effects there's hundreds of effect packages that you can get to make Fanica more specific to your needs. It's easier to understand. It has VR and 360 workflows available. It has an incredible organizing system. Easy and straightforward multi-camera workflow. It already comes loaded with visual effects. Real-time playback, and it works as well on a laptop as it does on a computer. And not to be unfair, Premiere also have great features. It connects to After Effects. After Effects is amazing software. And if you use graphics to that degree, again, I have edited with Premiere for many years. And overall, for the type of work that I do, for my way of working, Fanica just meets my needs a lot more than Premiere does. And not, not to say that Fanica is perfect by any means. Uh, the software does crash once in a while, but the autosave makes that a painless experience so if it crashes you literally just open up the software again and you continue from where you were while every time i work with premiere and something went wrong it froze me back 15 20 minutes and sometimes that can be a lot if you're editing multiple social media cuts in a day and 20 minutes means three, four videos. And I found it can be very demotivating if you have to redo work that you already done. Uh, so the autosave together with the liability that Fanica gives you, it just helps me move forward. I feel like regardless if the software by any reason is underperforming, is still keeping itself reliable. What I like so much about Fanica is that it feels like you're editing with an assistant. You're taking care of the creative aspect and doing the actual changes, while the software itself is taking care of the render, the transcoding, the organizing, so that you don't have to do it. Yes, you can do it yourself if you want. If you want to take control of those actions, you can. But the software is there so that you can focus on what you're there for, to be creative. I have expressed on this channel before, Editing with proxies makes any editing so much smoother, so much faster, and you can get so much more done. And I believe there's a lot of misconceptions about Fanica because it's so easy to get into it. But I feel like ultimately that's what every Apple product is about. It's a professional level, but it has easy access. You can come to Fanica with very little knowledge and still get an edit out of it, while Premiere can be very intimidated at the beginning. But the thing with Fanica is that as you learn, you can shift the software to a professional setup. The magnetic timeline, that is something that I know a lot of Premiere users don't like about the software. Again, I think it's just the software trying to help you. You don't want empty spaces into your video. You don't want your video to have gaps. I have edited on Premiere before where after exporting, you notice a one frame in between shots that Premiere just left it. Why would that ever happen? So Fanica is constantly trying to push it together. So when you're trying to place frames, he understands that you want to try and place shot A between shot B and C, and it moves that for you and allows you to go around. Or again, you can pop it on top, or you can set Fanica to not do the magnetic timeline, and you can move things around.
So ultimately for me, Final Cut just has a better workflow. It just works better for what I want to get done. If you're interested in any of the things that I listed and like me to talk more about it, I'll be happy to do so. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe and I'll see you next week. Yeah.